Good afternoon. Welcome back. You know, it's a good thing we still have these cold fronts coming in every once in a while. With time, of course, they won't be able to make it through here. But for now, they're giving us a little relief at times from the heat and humidity as we, it seems like our weather pattern has just jumped into summer. Taking a look outdoors, it's very warm out there. We have 84 degrees in Rockport right now. The so southeast winds at 20 miles an hour and some sunshine in Rockport this afternoon. Beeville, some of those cumulus clouds out there, 17 mile an hour winds and 80 87 degrees. Kingsville seeing some sunshine and a few clouds at 16 mile an hour wind and it's feeling like 88 in Corpus Christi with 84 right now as that dew point has climbed to 70 and we have that breezy afternoon though those 22 mile an hour winds out there this afternoon. Okay dew points are climbing again as expected that humidity is rising ahead of our next cold front and that's going to make for some sticky weather tonight and tomorrow. However we do get a bit of a break. Thursday the dew points come down as our north Northeast winds kick in. However, it doesn't last. By Friday, the humidity is climbing right, right back up and the weekend is looking sticky and hot. So with that, for tonight, here is your forecast. The lows only dropping into the low to mid 70s. It's a warm night across the area with clouds returning and that breeze staying steady tonight. And here's a look at tomorrow. Those are the temperatures. You can see we start off at about 75 at 7 in the morning and by 2 o'clock we're in the upper 80s in Corpus Christi, staying in those 80s through the afternoon with the winds increasing tomorrow. It's going to be a rather windy day with those wind gusts in the afternoon as high as 35 miles an hour. Now what you're looking at there are the feels like temperatures. As you combine temperature and humidity, it's going to feel more like 96 by noon. That humidity is going to be high tomorrow, making it very sticky. With high temperatures tomorrow, anywhere from 81 at Port Aransas, Rockport, 85, Mathis, up to 90 and 92 at Orange Grove, 89, Corpus Christi, 93 at Alice. Yep, feeling like summer. Our next cold front, though, that will bring a little relief as well to the north of us. That does come through early Wednesday. Out ahead of it, storms will be breaking out tomorrow across north and northeast Texas with an enhanced risk of severe weather, especially near Waco and up through Dallas. But as we get into Wednesday, that front comes through in the morning and the chance of severe weather decreases. We only have a marginal risk of severe storms Wednesday. That means isolated severe storms possible in the coastal bend. But again, they should be falling apart as they move to the south. Tomorrow then, as we look through the day, it's a dry day for your Tuesday and the clouds thin out to a partly sunny sky in the afternoon. It's windy and warm and humid tomorrow. But as we head into Wednesday morning, here comes the change. Our winds from the southwest will turn around as a cold front comes in and take a look at those showers and storms. But notice we're on the tail end of those and many of us will be missed by that, especially if you live inland. Nevertheless, we have a chance of a quick shot of rain early Wednesday and then the winds turn around and the air starts to dry out, the cooler, drier air working its way in Wednesday night. Now, the potential future rain depends on if that line can make it in here. If it does, that potential is there for close to an inch of rain from Rockport northward. However, you can see how the amounts vary a great deal across the region. And if we look at the forecast models for Corpus Christi, you can see that the models differ quite a bit on how much we're going to see. It could be as little as just a few hundredths or possibly up to about a half an inch. So here's your seven day forecast then. We've got a lot of heat and humidity in the forecast with the exception of Thursday. Thursday is the nicer day and then the heat and humidity climb again for the weekend. And the only day right now we've got that chance of rain is Wednesday. So it's looking pretty dry out there. Drew, back to you.